Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Ready? I'm ready. All right, so I'm nervous. Y'all gotta turn around. <laughs> All right, what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Volandis back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be shooting with the Hasselblad 500CM. I was grateful enough to get this camera for free. Well, not for free, I don't really own it. I gotta give it back before I leave, so I guess I don't own it. So the homies at Relics let me borrow this. They was like, yo, in LA, you wanna borrow it? Go ahead. So anyway, we're just gonna walk around East LA take some pictures of very ordinary things. Speaking of ordinary, I got Willem with me today. <laughs> it's a good thing though, bro. It wasn't, a, it wasn't like an insult. Bro, I told you, Willem takes pictures of ordinary things, but it's fire. No? Thank you, yeah. Just an ordinary man. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bro. So when, it, when it's Linus and his camera, is it a specific camera or is it just it's any just, camera? It's just like a general camera. General like, speaking. You know I got it on me. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Everything about this camera is just like weird and new. I like how bright the what's the name is though. The what's the name? <laughs> the viewfinder. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> it's all. It's all good, bro. It's all good. Let me get some. Let me get some leaves. No, that's not cool. Wow, that's kind of dope though. Mm. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk. One more, one more. One full one. I didn't get my ice cream. So I'm, too, I'm too worried about film pictures. It's a cat. Willem, how do you take pictures of people's homes without them coming outside and beating you up? Damn, you are tall, bro. You still don't think you should have hooped? I don't know, man. Should have played. So. Should have, you know, in invested in different shots. <laughs> it's like the tenth time I told that joke. I know. Yeah. <laughs> See, every, every video. <laughs> Anybody that's tall is just worried about the wrong shots. Stand like in the middle. Yep. Yeah, yep, like right there. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, one, two. Oh yeah, that's hard. Let's do one like, kind of like sideways. Yeah, yeah. Step backwards a little bit this way. Yeah, like right there. Take a step forward real quick. Yeah, right there, yeah. And then turn towards me a little bit. Yep, right there. All right, one, two. Yeah, a little, little photos here. <laughs> One, two. See, that would have been hard. Let's, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, man. 
just like you. She do for real. She knocked out. <laughs> Alright, so um, before we cut back to, um, before we talk about this camera a little bit more, let's just cut to the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. So if you're looking to learn more about photography, Skillshare is an amazing place for you. But the cool thing about Skillshare is that it's not just a place where you can learn about one thing. If you wanna learn about animation, logo design, photography, film, anything you wanna learn about, Skillshare has a class for you. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, and they're always launching new and premium classes so you can stay on top of learning. So a class that I am watching right now is one by Marquez Brownlee, and if you watch YouTube, you know exactly who that is. While teaching you how to plan videos, shooting compelling content, editing your footage, and growing your channel overall. So whatever you wanna learn about, whatever you're interested in, Skillshare definitely has a class for that. So we are giving away a thousand free premium memberships. And if you click the link down in my description, you will be able to sign up and get a free membership. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And of course, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Whew. Hopefully it's not too like windy out here. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay and it's all good. But yeah, we're um, done shooting with this camera. I go home tomorrow, so I actually have to give this camera back. Thank you to Relics for who was so nice to, you know, lend me this camera and let me use it for my time out here and just letting me, you know, have fun with the camera and test it out to see if I like it or not. Relics is a very like just good, amazing film photography store. Um, one of the best photography stores that I like film photography stores I've ever walked into and just like uh, the atmosphere. If you're in Long Beach, California, LA, wherever it is, check out Relics. They're amazing people. There's some amazing people who care about photography a lot. And uh, if I lived here, that would probably be my main um, film photography store. I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably go there every single time I need anything film photography related. So anyway, let's just talk about this camera now. So the Hasselblad 500CM, which is a amazing camera, amazing camera indeed it is a very cool camera i love that it's a hasselblad i love like just the history behind hasselblad everything that hasselblad has done for photography um i love it i love how small it is i love uh the lens this 80 millimeter lens is a very sharp just all around great lens this is a cool camera easy camera to use and function and um i don't really have too much complaints about the functionality of the camera or um, anything that has to do with the camera. This camera is a very good camera. The only thing that I'm not too keen on is the six by six format. Um, I am not like a hater of six by six. I actually don't mind six by six. I think six by six looks great in a lot of cases. Um, but I do think in my case, I would have to be very particular in what I shoot if I did have this camera. I would have to know what I'm getting myself into and know what I'm going to shoot before I shoot it. But none of that stuff actually really matters in the grand scheme of things. It's all just like personal preference. I think I like having the option to put my photos in six by six. I don't want to start six by six. I like, you know, having the opportunity to shoot six by six. I do have another six by six camera, my, um, my TLR that I have at home, which I absolutely love. But again, I don't use it as much because it's six by six, but I really do want to use it. I really do want to like buy one. I do want one. Like it's, it's a beautiful camera, just a beautiful, just box of a camera, small, just looks good, man. And it's a Hasselblad. So, I, and it's just like, Ooh, it's blinding in the sun too. Like this metal is just like, whoo beautiful camera I did have a uh, trouble learning how to use like uh, not the focusing but like how to switch the um, aperture and the shutter speed at the same time so you have to hold this like side thing down and then that's how you change the shutter speed and then I would change that first and then I would change the aperture after because that goes based off your shutter speed but yeah man just very easy camera to have very easy camera to use very beautiful camera very beautiful images love it sharp lens just everything about it is great um just 
six by six but that's not really that big of a deal low-key they do make a back for this that's six four five and i think i would probably be more open to shooting with that so maybe if i do get this camera in the future i'll probably have to opt for the six four five back instead of the six by six back because um i would want to use it a lot more often and i just don't think i would because it's six by six but man you know as i always say gear is not an issue and gear shouldn't be the forefront of um your photography just at some point though um the gear you use and your personal preference you know they kind of clash so yeah sometimes gear isn't important and then when it comes to you as a photographer and what you like and what you want then you know could be you know a different different standard at some point so but anyway man i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys got something out of it if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed to the channel i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do so anyway man we're gonna get up out of la man go back to detroit it's hot out here it's very sunny every single day but yeah man it was great out here I had a beautiful time with some beautiful people and yeah man we're gonna go home get back to uh doing some shit in detroit so you know Let's go do some shit. You know the vibes. Wait, and and you see me shining too. Don't get it confused. You know the vibes. Let's go do some shit.